In this video, we'll learn to express probabilities as fractions, decimals, and percentages. So I've got three different objects in front of me, and I'll work out different probabilities. I'll start off as a fraction, because that's the easiest one to work out initially. So I want to work out the probability of getting heads in a coin. So the two different outcomes that I could have is either heads or tails. So heads is just one of them out of the two. Now, that's written as a fraction. As a decimal, 1 divided by 2 gives me 0 0.5, which is the same as 50%. And the probability of getting a 3, for example, in the spinner is 1 out of 4, or 1 quarter, because it's 1 of the possible 4. So 1 divided by 4 gives us 0 0.25, and that is 25%, the two digits after the decimal point. And finally, we've got the spinner, which has eight equal sections. The sections are either red, blue, green, or white. I want to work out the probability of getting red. So there is a red here here and there so there are three reds three reds out of one two three four five six seven eight out of eight and we told here as well eight sections eight equal sections so what i do now is three divided by eight which gives me zero point three seven five so that's as a decimal as a percentage, we've said two decimal points after the decimal point, two decimal places after the decimal point, so that makes it 37.5%. It's like how many pennies you'd have if this was money, if you had a pound sign in front. So, really, expressing probabilities as fractions, decimals and percentages is no different from converting fractions to decimals or percentages. The first thing to do is work out what are you looking at working the probability of. How many is that out of the total? And then pick it from there to express it as a decimal and then as a percentage. 